I'm Dr. Larry Steikleather, the North Carolina State University Department of Biological and Agricultural Engineering. What we have here is a Sterling heat engine, which belongs to the antique farm exhibit at the North Carolina State Fair. This uh, engine was in uh, much disrepair, and we have uh, restored it to operational uh, status. This engine is driven by an external combustion source. Uh, we're using an LP gas uh, burner and uh, originally the engine could have run on charcoal or a wood fire or coal, uh, any heat source external underneath the uh, hot air uh, cylinder. This engine is a uh, Sterling heat engine. It has uh, only an air chamber inside it, but it has two pistons. It has a power piston, the one at the top here that you can see, and uh, then the lever arm there in the center of that power piston is driving a displacer piston, which is shuttling the air uh, in the uh, cylinder from the hot end to the uh, cold end. When the air goes down to the bottom of the cylinder, it's heated, comes up and expands against the power piston and that's what's driving it. So it's an external combustion engine. This restoration project ties in with our alternative fuels program here at uh, NC State. We are interested of course in alternative sources of energy and the possibility of using alternative fuels, making alternative fuels. Since this engine can run on any fuel as an external combustion engine, it was of great interest to us. We also uh, just wanted to upgrade our uh, antique uh, farm machinery exhibit at the NC State Fair. We've also modeled this engine in Pro Engineer Wildfire 4, and uh, it will be able to show the animation of the uh, mechanism uh, showing the piston movement inside. So I'll be using it also in my teaching program. Uh, dealing with uh, pro-engineer, pro-engineer modeling, and also be talking about the principles of